What is clay? In short, it's eroded rock. Here's how it goes. Cooled magma from the Earth's core forms a rocky crust that we call the mantle. This rock layer is embedded with lots of elements and mineral compounds, mainly silicates. Chemically, clay is a hydrous aluminum silicate. That means that it's a chemical compound made from aluminum oxide, silicon dioxide, and water. Over time, rocks that contain these elements are eroded by wind and rain. Naturally occurring acidic solvents aid this chemical and physical process. For example, much of the world's clay comes from feldspars. They account for 60% of the Earth's exposed rocks. Feldspars are a hydrous aluminum silicate with an added alkaline element like potassium, sodium, or calcium. Chemical weathering separates the alkaline element and leaves clay minerals as a byproduct. Clay that is found at the same spot it was formed is called residual or primary kaolin. This tends to happen in warm, humid environments, mostly outside of the U.S. Kaolin is the purest clay. It looks the whitest, fires to the highest temperature, and is the least plastic, meaning least malleable. Kaolin is also known as china clay and is the core component of most porcelains. Ball clay is clay that has been moved by or interacted with water. Ball clays are fine-grained, very plastic, and tend to also have very high shrinkage. Fire clay is clay that forms on dry land in mountainous and desert areas through wind and erosion. It's generally coarse-grained and tough. Surface clay is found all over the earth. It's clay that has formed, moved, and then moved again. As clay moves, it picks up minerals, metals, and other impurities along the way. These impurities change the composition and behavior of the clay. Generally speaking, though, more impurities result in a lower melting temperature and higher plasticity. Because naturally occurring clays have a limited supply, they can't be reproduced accurately and in mass over time. That's why clay that you purchase from your supplier is actually a clay body. It's composed of a precise mixture of raw materials like kaolin, feldspar, and silica. They mix up these materials, add water, and process the clay body so that it's in a nice workable state for you to take home.